Cheers. Say hello. Hello, Jim. Hello. Hello, Jake. Jake and Jim are going to help us out making this video today. We're going to do a video on, and there's Jill. We're going to do a video on how to handle a drive or a, a shot down the middle. Uh, and we'll also do some with, uh, uh, we'll do some third shot drops in a second too, but let's do the drive first if you don't mind. So serve, return. You guys will serve, we'll return, and then you guys will hit it down the middle. And then we'll do some poaching stuff too, because that'll be good, I think. All right, here we go. Before we get into some real life examples of the down the middle shots, we'll use our high budget graphics to explain the strategy and the concepts. This is a return team strategy. The return, the serve and return have already been executed. So the question is what to do with the next shot by the serving team or the third shot. In this case, we're gonna be dealing with a third shot drive down the middle shown by the arrow here. The returner is moving up into the position at the no volley zone as the shot's being uh, hit. The decision that has to be made by the return team here is should the drive be handled by the uh, returner who's moving forward towards the no volley zone or should it be handled by the partner of the returner who's already at the no volley zone just sliding over and intercepting that ball. We can also look at the same scenario in a third shot drop situation in the middle. The question there is should, the, uh, should it be handled by the returner who's moving forward uh, and is not going to be there in time to intercept the ball while it's in the air or should it be handled by the uh, person at the no volley zone? Short answer, player at the no volley zone covers the middle on both shots. Let's look and see how it works in real life. All right, here we go. Jill's going to slide over. I almost forgot that she was going to take that ball, but she took the first ball uh, and uh, let me get up in the position. Slow-mo helps see this a little better. You can see how Jill can just slide over, block it, and now we're set ready for the point. This is a similar shot. It's a drive down the middle, and you'll see how I move over and just intercept the ball and just block it back, letting Jill get up to position. Again, in slow-mo, you'll see how I kind of slide over block it, not doing much with it, just blocking it back, and then Jill gets up in a position, we're ready to go. This time I'm gonna let the middle drive go and you'll see what happens. Jill's still moving forward, there's indecision in the middle, uh, and you'll see how the ball just basically goes between us. The superimposed rectangle there in red is the area that we're trying to protect in this shot, and it's easier for me to do so, because I'm already at the no volley zone. Let's look at covering the middle on a third shot that can be attacked. You see, I can come over here and hit that ball. In slow-mo, you'll be able to see it a little easier Jill's still moving as the ball is coming. By the time Jill gets up to the no volley zone, the ball will be too low for her to attack. But if I slide over, the ball is still high enough for me to be able to attack it. These next two shots, Jim and Jake will take the concept out for a spin. First one will be a, just a regular middle shot. You'll see how Jake comes over and covers this one here. The next one, I've asked him to let it go so you can see the difference. We'll do a slow-mo in a second. So this one, you'll see how Jake just can easily slide over and take the shot while Jim is still moving. The next time you're gonna see how, in the next one you'll see how Jim is still moving forward. Jake's gonna let this one go and you'll see that by the time Jim hits it, it's gonna be at his shin, which is a much more difficult shot. This one is a drop, third shot drop again. You'll see that uh, the first one Jake covers, the second one he doesn't. We'll do a slow-mo on the second one so you can see it again. So here's what happens when Jake does not slide over to cover the third shot that's gonna to land towards the middle. Jim is moving up and he ends up with a pop-up there. Let's see what Jake could have done to avoid the pop-up, the difficult shot for Jim. By just sliding over here, you'll see how he can just take the ball in the air and it's an easier shot. The slide to cover the middle can just be a block volley. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy. It can just be a block and reset. I also want to talk a little bit about the backhand versus forehand here. A lot of times you hear about forehand in the middle should take the shot. That is not the case with this shot. In this shot here, uh, the important thing is that whoever's up at the no volley zone on the return team, slide over, take that middle ball, whether it's the forehand or the backhand. The idea of this shot is more of a reset, more of a uh, stopping the, the offensive side from taking advantage of the middle and resetting the point. If you can put it away or do something with it, great. But if you can't, you just want to stop the ball, make the best shot possible uh, and protect your partner who's still moving. Hope this was helpful. Here are some final thoughts on the strategy. Player at the no volley zone gets the middle third shots. That helps avoid passing shots down the middle. Also helps with offense whenever you have the opportunity to put it away. Please let us know in the comments below what you think about the format of this video. We're trying different formats and it would be helpful to know uh, which one is the most beneficial and helpful to you. Thank you.